and welcome back to my channel. What a funny week. We won't get into it. We got into it in the last video. We don't need to get into it again. So today, I'm just going to take a brief look at uh, FreeBSD jails. It's uh, not very complicated. We're just going to go through creating, starting, configuring. It's as simple as that today. So if you look at my terminal, yeah, absolutely named jailhouse. Brilliant. Um, so there, there's more than one way of doing this. And the way we'll do this today is we'll use BSD install because it's nice and quick. You can do it from source. Uh, you can do it using easy jail. But BSD install, honestly, is the easiest and quickest way. So we'll issue the command BSD install jail and then the path to where we want it. So use the home wherever you set it. I've set it here and we, we'll call this one www. We'll probably set it up as a web server in a later video. It'll ask you to select the distributions that you want to use. And then it will download and unpack them. So this will get it from uh, FreeBSD's official mirrors. And it shouldn't take too long. Yes. He does like giving me some funny looks, doesn't he? Never mind. Okay, so that's that done. It'll ask us to change our root password. Which we'll do. And then pick a few services we want running. So we'll have those. And we'll add a user. Select a password. Don't lock it out. Where's he off to? Strange lad. Okay. So once we've got that set up, if we go to our directory that we installed the jails, you'll see that there's two there. One is a test that I did earlier, and the second one is the one we just created the www so we've got that let's go into that just to get the path because i'm lazy so let's now edit our jail.conf so there you go there's my test one that i did earlier so what have we got we've, we've got our our test one here so i'm just gonna copy that this is a completely fictitious domain name, by the way. And there we go. That's all we need to configure. Now, once we've got that all configured, so we've literally got the host name, the IP address, the path, uh, and the stop start and the mount dev FS. That's all we really need. So once we've got that, we can start it. And it really is simple to start. We literally just issue service, jail, start, and the name of the jail, which in this case is www. Sorry if I sound nasally. I'm still getting over the human malware, but yeah, hasn't been nice. <laughs> For some reason, this takes a while. Not really sure why. I think it might have something to do with the hardware that it's running on. It's pretty rubbish. There we go. Right. So. There's my jail running. So how do I get into my jail? Well, like this. We execute the jail. So in this case, it's execute or J execute for jail execute. JID2 and then the shell. There we go. I am now in the jail. Here we go. www carryh.uk, which is, like I said, completely fictitious. Okay, that was um, odd. 
So all of a sudden, the um, colonel decided it didn't want to play ball for some really weird reason. Anyway, rebooted it, and for some reason, it wouldn't find anything. It just said that all blocks were unavailable. Very, very odd. So anyway, let's um, let's carry on. So I thought this video was going to end up being something completely different for a minute. <laughs> There we go. So we now have a network. So what I forgot to do was actually assign it an IP address on the host. So there we go. We've got our Alpine, Pico Alpine now running, which is good. Oh. So where was we? Oh, yeah. Shut up. So in, in recapping, what we have so far is there's our jail.conf with the IP address listed and the devfs rule set I've set to two. If we look at what we've got here in our rc.conf is the aliases um, for the jail IPs which I'd forgotten to put in, which is really silly, rudimentary stuff. I'm not going to be somebody who hides behind his, his failures. If I do something wrong, I'm going to put it in. So there we go. So there's our jails. So what can we do with these jails? Well, pretty much anything you can do on a host. Um, for instance, with, uh, with the www one that I had, let's get logged into it first, uh, to CSH. And let's look at the rc.conf. And it's got SSHD enabled already. Let's check that out. So what was that? It was 198. There we go. So SSH works. So that's logged in as um, root on the, the jail. So I can now go install nginx PHP 80, which is the latest. Haven't really used it yet, but there we go. There we go. So let's just install to get some extensions. And we now have Nginx installed. So that's nice and easy. And of course, I can log out of there and go back to my original log out of there. And it's still running. So that's um, jails put simply. You can do whatever you like with them. They are essentially a virtualized FreeBSD environment. It's a little bit more to it than that, but that's probably the easiest way to think about them. So there we go. Um, that's jails in a nutshell. In the next coming weeks i think what i'll do is delve into jails a little bit more for you and what we can do with them maybe look at nginx proxies or um ha i don't know we'll, we'll see where it goes it depends on how i'm feeling and depends on how my reviews of other uh, bsd based operating systems go as well but for now i'll leave you with uh, with this one thought, jails are very simple to to manage. Uh, very simple to get up and running. You saw it was one command, a few lines of configuration code, and away you go. And uh, doesn't get much easier than doing it like that. So 
Hope you've learned something from this and I hope you find this useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and, and subscribe to the channel to catch upcoming videos. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. That will tell you when they're coming. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.